everybody, in this tutorial, we're going to figure out and learn how to, well, put a mod into Super Animal Oil. How do you mod Super Animal Oil, you say? It's quite easy. The first thing you need is a tool my friend made. It's an extension of Unity Asset Bundler. It's a more updated version and it now uses Avalonia. So, how do you do this? You go here and do not click this. You gotta click the Windows Nightly Builds. And um, then, you download UABE already. You go to F. I mean, whatever drive you on, and then you open up UABE. Alright, here we go. So we extract UABE Windows. And there we go. Now we go down to where UABE is. Alrighty. Alrighty. Where do I put it? Oh, wait, wait here. So here's what you do. You then go to UABE Avalonia. Here's the thing, you cannot mod pack in this one. Unfortunately, Avalonia does not allow mod packs. But it allows you to do something pretty nifty, which is inject it into the game. So we go to File, Open, and then we go to the Super Animal Royale directory. So we're gonna go to Home. We're gonna go to Super Animal Royale. We go to Properties. Local files, browse. Then we go to Super Owner Morale Data. And then we go to Resource.Assets, I believe. And we uh, just put this in here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, we can just drag this, you know, I think. Oh, yeah, you can't. We just have to go to directory. Alrighty, a little hold up, but it's fine. Anyways, we go to this directory. And we go to Resources.Assets. Open. And then. Do not, by the way, the sprite sheets are not what's in the game. Those are just references for the artists put in there. So, we go down to something called character. We can find it. Uh, character, character, get with character. Alrighty. There's gotta be a cute custom skin, no. So, we opened the wrong file. Alrighty, so it's not in resources, it's in shared, one of the shared assets. So you, sometimes it takes some trial and error because every Unity game is different in a way. Let's try this again. File, open, uh, shared assets for. I completely actually, I think it might be in shared assets. Yeah, actually. Uh, here we go, characters. Alrighty, so you see there are two characters files. One is not what you want. There's a characters and a character. You want to go to the character file. I could freaking find that. Uh, it's, it's somewhere. <laughs> Alrighty. These texture files, by the way, are just the icons. These are not what you want. You want something called character. If I could freaking find it. It's somewhere. There we go, I just saw it. Uh, uh, uh. There's a script called character. Here it is, here it is. I... No, that's not it. So it might be underscore characters. Let me see. So we export raw. No, we don't export raw. Did we export raw? Download. Uh... Alrighty. How do I do this? View data. Alrighty, you gotta copy this apparently. So apparently, alright, I'll just leave you the characters file in the description, but this, it is underscore characters. So here's my characters file. Dot bytes. Let me get the other one. So you might have to decompile using new tiny ripper, which I'll show you how to do that. So there's a program called utiny 
Fucking Christ. Anyways, there was a there's a program called You Tiny Ripper. So, um, You Tiny Ripper, right? Download zip. And here we go. Then you open You Tiny Ripper. So you see, I have You Tiny Ripper. It should be in my downloads directory. Uh, you tiny ripper. You tiny ripper, where are ya? Here we go. Anyways, you tiny ripper. Alrighty. Then, now, get a super. I, I'm sorry, it's been a while since I've done this. Someone in this was royal, but, um. Export. Alrighty. Now we export the files to. Let's say we want to put it. No, we're not going to put this. Export, um. Let's put it to our F drive. Alrighty. Now let's go to our F drive. What does some good? Nitro egg. Whoops. Alright, here we go. Now it's exporting all the assets. I'm gonna deafen myself real quick. There we go. Anyways, um. Anyways, sorry about that. Those are some hold ups in our chat. Anyways, already now. Now, what you do is go to Drive F, which is where I saved it. It's going to be your drive. And we go down to, I'm sure that's g.assets, assets. Scriptable op, no. I think it should be in characters, no. Text assets. It's in text assets. So we go to characters. Start bytes. I thought it was another one, but it is characters. Start bytes only. Alrighty. So it's gonna be a characters. Start bytes file from Utani River. But this is not what you want. You gotta find which animal you want, and then you go to the characters character file. To so say, yeah. Here we go. And there should be something called character.byte. So you look at this character.byte file to see what characters you want. And then you go down to the character file and see where that is. Say, you want to edit the fox. Alrighty, let's go to fox. You just find the fox file. Alrighty. Say, we want to make something blue. What want to make blue? Well, how about the default fox? So, um, let me just find the super fox real quick. Super fox. Where the heck is the fox? I can't find the fox to save my life. It's somewhere. No, let's just open this in edit notepad. I'm sorry this is such a hold up. Uh, fox. There we go. So, we gotta find the color. What? Fox. The one to fox slash fox. And you gotta find the color file for this. Okay. So say wanna change Sonic Fox. Yeah, let's change Sonic Fox because nobody likes Sonic Fox. Anyways, that's a brain waste terms. Let's change Sonic Fox. Oh Sonic Fox is not in here. What the hell? Alrighty, I guess we'll just uh, where is so this file is a bit messy. I have to mint. So we're gonna have to find the tile with the colors. They're all it is really messy by the way. So this might take a time to and now I can help okay here it is. So you see there's a definition file for each that declares what color it is and what its animations are. And I swear to god if I cannot find 
Oh, I'm really in the backwards direction. Let me point my bum. Alrighty, let's do a main dwarf. I I guess. I want to do the default fox, but I guess that's not going to be an option. I don't know. Anyways. Let's try Fox Slash. Fox Yellow. Let's try this. Let's try, uh. Hmm. I'm still trying to find it. This is. This is. I'm the first. I think I'm the first shooter. This is sad. This is. I'm sorry. I'm just laughing out. This organized. This is in a way. It's organized, but not organized. Alrighty. So we get into the fox. Blue Jay. I want to get to the. I want to change the fox though. Where's the fox? Let's just do fox. I am kind of having tunnel vision right now, so I'm to find this. So, uh, must you name? What? There's no name files? It's declaring its name. <laughs> uh. Alrighty. So this is the process of finding what you want. You give it a name tag, I, I guess. So say you want to do the super fox. I it's somewhat. I have to find which line is on. I will leave a description of where the default animations, I mean animals, and what lines are all later. So. Let's do fox now. Oh, okay, so fox slash head. There we go. So Here's what it does. It's basically stacks everything on a layer, starting from the first to last. So I believe this is the super fox. So. We have to go through all the items. Yes, the items are actually coded each on their own. So here's the fox that's fox. So. Alrighty. Try to find where the colors are. This is the color file. The FF is for opacity at the end. So say we want to change this to blue. We'll just go to a color picker. Color picker. Alrighty. Online color picker. Here we go. And say we want it to be red. I mean not red. Blue. Uh, Copy that. We just copy the hex code. And add it. By the way, these files I don't think load if you don't put them in hex. If you delete the FF at the end, so always do the FF at the end. Because if it's not a pass, if it's not opaque, it won't load. So here we go. I think this is already in the game though, so. I guess you can make him golden. What color fox is in the game? I don't think pink is. Wait, I don't think green is. So, this is not a green fox. They have every fox color, I swear. But, um, anyways, here we go. Let's try this again. Alrighty. So, we do that. And we just go to each in its own color. And we change it. Here we go.
Here we go. Here we go. So now, you just go to the file. Alrighty. So I unblind. Anyways. Let's see. We might have went past the head. Box slash head. Find next. Here we go. Here we go. So we got the head base. And now we can do the muzzle. And I will add this to the game. Here we go. So now, if I'm if I inject this into the game, what should happen is my super hyena should be back to normal because this is the base. Well, considering I modded it, it might not. But the gist is, everything on this fox will be blue. Waddle it. There we go. So now what we're going to do it should be green. I mean, so we go to copy. We go to documents. We paste. Character dot bytes. We change this from character dot bytes to character because the bytes is just an extension that that you need to you rip puts on it. At least as far as I know. So we go to character and we name this to character instead of character dot bytes. Now what do we do after this? Is it? It's simple. We go into my friend tool my friend made and we go to characters, not characters, but character. I swear if I have to find it again. I am dying inside. Okay, character. And now we go to character and we go to plugins and import.txt. Then we change this to a txt. Fine. It should encode itself. There we go. Okay, and then we import a txt, and then we go to documents, and then we go to our character.txt file. We open that, and then it changed, see? It doesn't look like it's changed, but we go to file, save, and then we go and change it as resource that assets, and guess what we do now? We save it any way we want. So I want to save it here in videos. You go to videos. Now we go to resource.assets, we copy this, and then we put it inside the super animal in our directory. Local browse uh, super animal data control B. And now we should have a green fox in the game. So let me uh, close my tool real quick. So it will load. There we go. Control V. Now we should have a tool in. I swear to fuck. Anyways, uh, close. Now control V. Replace the files. And now we should have a, some file in here. So let's start the game, and we should have a green fox if we go to it. If everything works right. Which there's a chance it might not have. We just broke the game. Not really. Anyways, a research lab. Look at that, it's the colors we want. It's green. As you can see, we made the fox green. So that's how you make your own colors in Super Animal Royale. Cool, right? Well, I don't really want to keep this because technically that'll make it appear better than the rest. So just be careful with the colors because if you make them too bright or too low, you could possibly get banned. Because that could be possibly a texture hack if you make them if you make things a certain way. So just be careful with how you do this. Because I don't want to get in trouble and neither do you. There we go. I think we...